Hi, Joshua Level 13 here, and I'm going to show you how to blow up the rocket and ascension. Now it's very similar, very very similar to how to do it in Black Ops 1. All you need to do is ride the three lunar landers back to main base. So that means you have to buy it, but it's okay because it's not that expensive. You just have to wait for fuel, and it doesn't take too long. And it's quite simple, and it's really easy. And in the end game of it, before you blow up the rocket. You have to push a button, it's super easy, and all you need is either a ray gun, a ray gun mark 2, or some type of high explosive weapon. Pack a punch weapons will not cut it, nor, well actually a death machine will do it. So if you have that gobble gum, I advise you use it. And now it does change the map, how it looks a little bit, but it does not, it's not permanent. I wish it was, because it would look really badass, and you do end up getting a free power up at the bottom of the rocket detonation. Now you don't need to detonate the rocket. It's just a little thing you can do on your own. I don't think it changes the gameplay whatsoever. But it still is pretty cool. And yeah, this And you can look up online. There was an Easter egg in Kino Der Toten. You would go into one of the teleporter rooms and you would teleport into five. And if you had jumped by a mannequin in the makeup room five times, you could launch the rocket and that was sort of an Easter egg in the original Kinder Dare Totland on Black Ops 1 to hint at the this DLC. And as you're gonna see in a minute here, I'm gonna end up shooting the death machine at the rocket, but it will not blow up. It has to be midair for it to blow up. Um so don't bother wasting your time. And like I said, this video is only like around four minutes long. It does not take that long. Just get around a large amount of money and before round 12 you could get it done even less there was a trophy on call of duty black ops 1 to do all this before round 7 to pack a punch and it was quite easy and a lot of people did it even i did it multiple times so yeah now you're about to see the rocket launch and me Blow it up with the Ray Gun Mark II. Launch in progress. Oh, I am. Pretty damn cool, right? Now, I will admit it would have looked a lot better if I had let it actually go higher. But I don't know why it didn't. It would it would have looked a lot better. I'm sorry that it was like that. But yeah, as you see, it doesn't really change the map much after that. The effects go away of the hail, fire, whatever you want to call that when the, the sky was orange. It does go away like within five minutes, and you do get a power up. You do get a power up. It's never really anything special. It's just a normal. Sometimes the fire cell max ammo. Hey, you know. It's whatever. I did not show it in this video because yeah, I, I don't feel like it was that important. But yeah, this little area I'm fighting in is pretty good to fight in if you know what you're doing. If you don't have run good trains, there's a turn right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and show more gameplay of this in another video. But enjoy the rest. I'm Joshua Lumber 13. Remember to like and share, subscribe if I guess you liked what you saw. Later.